Talk about how to fix an ACL tear. A lot of patients just say, oh, it's going to be an ACL repair. I'm going to show up. They're going to fix it. We're going to go on. They think about it like a fracture, where we're actually like fixing a bone. The problem with the ACL is that it's inside the knee, and it does not have a good capacity to heal by just reattaching the torn ends together. On top of that, most ACL ruptures, it's almost like a bomb went off and it just completely shreds the tendon, so there's really nothing good to sew back together. And so frequently we perform an ACL reconstruction. I would say that's probably 90 plus percent of all the ACL surgeries out there. So frequently we do an ACL reconstruction where we actually take out the torn ligament and reconstruct it with either a tendon from your body or allograft tendon. When we talk about autograft options, that's the gold standard because it's coming from your own body, it's live tissue, it has a higher capacity to heal. There's three main uh, tendons that we can use. The gold standard as of today is still the patellar tendon, where we take actually a little piece of bone from the patella, the central slip of the patellar tendon, and a little piece of bone from the tibia, and that becomes your new ACL. We close that back together. People do well. There are certain risks with that long term, but the patellar tendon autograft is my preferred graft, and I would consider it the gold standard at this point in time. The hamstring tendons uh, have been a graft option for a very long time as well, and those patients do exceptionally well. There is also a newer graph where we can take actually part of the quadriceps tendon. Um, that's been around for 20, 30 years, but the earlier iterations of it, we didn't have a good way to fixate it in the knee, and so there was higher failure rates. But now, with data that we have over the past 10 to 15 years with newer fixation techniques, the quadriceps tendon is actually equivocal or comparable to a patellar tendon or a hamstring tendon.